Welcome back, book buddies. Today, we are going to carry on reading a book from the Mr. Men, Little Miss Advent Calendar. Let's go. Let's read day 19. Little Miss Magic to the rescue. Day 19. Little Miss Magic to the rescue. Little Miss Magic was out for her daily walk when she met Mr. Strong. Mr. Strong seemed worried, very worried indeed. Good morning, Mr. Strong, said Little Miss Magic. Is something the matter? Indeed it is, sighed Mr. Strong. I'm so strong that I can't help baking everything I touch. I just went to open the gate and, without any effort at all, it came off in my hand. I just wish I wasn't so strong. Oh, that's no good at all, said Little Miss Magic kindly. I'm going to help you. Weak, she commanded. Little Miss Magic isn't called Little Miss Magic for nothing, you know. When Little Miss Magic tells something to do something, it does it. Mr. Strong only just had the strength to lift his feet to get himself back home. Little Miss Magic continued with her walk, but it wasn't long before she met Mr. Small, who was jumping up and down over and over again. Good morning, Mr. Small, said Little Miss Magic. Is something the matter? I've had enough, said Mr. Small, just as soon as he got his breath back. I'm so small that I can never see what's going on. I always have to climb up walls or balance on chairs and ladders. Oh, I wish I was taller. It will come as no surprise to learn that this gave Little Miss Magic an idea. She was sure that if she used her magic on Mr. Small, she would be able to cheer him up. Tall, she said. And then, do you know what happened? Well, Mr. Small's legs began to grow and grow and grow until he looked more like Mr. Tall than Mr. Small. He was delighted. The world looked so beautiful from such a great height. Continuing with her walk, Little Miss Magic met Mr. Forgetful. Good morning, Mr. Forgetful, said Little Miss Magic. How are you? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? He replied. But I believe you just asked me a question, and I've already forgotten it. Oh, I've had enough of being so forgetful. I wish I could remember all the things I've got to do. It could change my life. Poor Mr. Forgetful couldn't remember anything, anything at all. And so, once again, Little Miss Magic decided to help. Remember, she cried. And straight away, Mr. Forgetful remembered that he had forgotten to switch the television off and he had left all his shopping at the market and that his friends were coming to his house for lunch. Mr. Forgetful's head had never been so full and he rushed off to do all the things he had forgotten, which was a lot. <laughs> help, help, came a voice from further up the lane. Little Miss Magic ran towards the shouts and there she found Mr. Greedy, stuck. Stuck in his own garden gate because he had been so greedy that morning. Little Miss Magic, please help me, he cried. I don't know what to do. I can't stop eating. And the more I eat, the fatter I become. I'm getting fatter and fatter. I can't even fit through my own garden gate anymore. And yesterday, I broke Mr. Slow's armchair when I sat in it. I wish I was thin. You can imagine what happened next. Quite right. Little Miss Magic worked her magic. And just look at what happened. Mr. Greedy became quite a different shape altogether. Not at all his old self. And that was the end of Little Miss Magic's good deeds for the day. A few days later, Little Miss Magic was eating her breakfast when... Ding dong! Who do you think was at Little Miss Magic's door? Hmm. It was four very miserable visitors. One, two, three, four. Oh, Little Miss Magic, they pleaded. Please can you change us back to how we used to be? Our lives have changed, but now we're sad. Mr. Strong was so weak that he could barely lift his arms. Mr. Small was so tall, he kept bumping his head wherever he went. 
Mr. Forgetful's head was so full of things he had to do that he could no longer sleep. And as for Mr. Greedy, he had completely lost his appetite. Something had to be done. Little Miss Magic didn't need to think twice about using her magic. And soon she put all her friends back to normal again. Mr. Strong was strong once again. Mr. Small was as small as small can be once again. Mr. Forgetful immediately forgot all the things he had to do. And Mr. Greedy's tummy once again almost touched his toes. But most importantly at all, they were all smiling again. They thanked Little Miss Magic and went on their way. Once the door had shut behind them, an air of magic still hung in the house of Little Miss Magic. Everything had been put back to how it should be. Everyone had found their old self and was very, very happy. Ding dong! Oh, but there was somebody at the door. Little Miss Magic opened the door and there stood Mr. Forgetful, looking most perplexed. How can I help you, Mr. Forgetful? asked Little Miss Magic kindly. Um, uh... I'm not entirely certain, he said. I was so, I'm so forgetful. Perhaps you invited me to tea or asked me to take a walk with you. Or perhaps I was going to help you with your shopping. Little Miss Magic smiled. Tea and cake, she said. And she invited Mr. Forgetful in for a delicious afternoon tea. The best tea he could ever remember. The end. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye!